Today, I'm going to be talking about BMX Bandits. So I'm going to be talking about the movie, and I'm going to show you the Blu-ray itself. So, um, BMX Bandits is, it was a movie that came out in 1983. And the movie takes place in Sydney, Australia. Sydney, Australia. And, um... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if the, um, this movie came out in the United States. If it did, if, I think it got like um, like lim a limited release or like a small amount of release in the United States. And um, I saw this on TV in the summer of 2009. Um, my first um, thought about BMX Bandits. Um, 1996, it was um. There was a talk show, it was like a day, daytime talk show on TV. It was called um, the Rosie O'Donnell Show, and that came out. It was it was a daytime talk show, and that came out like um, on, it was on TV like 1996 through 2002. And I used I used to watch um I used to watch the Rosie O'Donnell Show like um, like when I had um when I was a kid like some vacation from school, or my um. If I had like a days off from school, uh, like sometimes I, w I would watch um, the, the Rosie O'Donnell show. So um, the summer of the summer of nineteen ninety eight, um, Nicole Kidman, she um she was on the Rosie O'Donnell show, and um, I was I was watching it, um when Nicole Kidman was on it, I was really I was um really wasn't paying attention to it. By doing um um which Nicole Kidman she said um she she mentioned um on the on the Rosie O'Donnell show she mentioned um BMX Bandits saying that was um it was Nicole Kidman's first movie she did so that's how um I found out about BMX Bandits so I really um I still really didn't know nothing um, about it that I think I saw like um. She might um have show a, a clip on the Rosie O'Donnell show. I'm not sure. But um on the computer, I went to um it was like a website it's called um i imdb.com. It tells you um it has like it like people like actors directors. It gives you a list of the stuff they did. And um and like BMX bandits was. Was on, was listed as like you know nineteen eighty three movie. But um, even when I re even when I read that on, on the computer, I really didn't know much about it. I knew I had to do something like bikes. So um, so um, summer two thousand nine, two thousand nine. That's like the year, like my first my first year I lived by myself because before. I lived by myself. I used to live with somebody, and I also used to live with like a, like a, um, I used to live with like a fa a family member. And um, 2009, um, I had, um, d during my um the the years like after high school, I had, like you know different jobs. And I used I used to work at different times. So, um, so some 2009, um, like that's um my that's the year, um. 2009. That's the year I live on but my my first year, my first year I live by myself. So, um, 2009, like the job that I had, I used um, I used uh, like I used to work at like 4:30, and um, 4:30 p.m. to like one o'clock in the morning, and um, and I used like when I used to come home, I used um, like go on the computer, maybe like watch a little bit of TV. I go to bed like either six o'clock in the morning or seven o'clock in the morning. Like I I used to go to bed like before. I think the latest be like eight o'clock in the morning. And I used I used to wake up like three o'clock in um either like three o'clock in the afternoon or three thirty. And yeah, so um so summer two thousand nine, I came home from um. For my job, because I, you know, I got, I got out like, you know, one o'clock in the morning. So the time I, uh, when I got home, I was, you know, see what's on TV, 
and one of the movies they had was um the MX Bandits. So I you know saw it and I I liked it. And I really liked this movie. And um yeah, and I've since um pretty much like every summer. I used um like I used to watch this movie on the, on the computer, and um then because um I never um see this. I never see this on DVD in retail stores, even the Blu-ray. But the movie um on DVD got released maybe like three, two or three times on DVD because I found out um, on the computer. But I really didn't like um the DVD cover, and I heard that the the quality of the movie on DVD wasn't that good. So they finally um I don't know when they they finally put out like a better DVD of it. And the Blu-ray of it, so yeah. So I, 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 I don't know if this came out on Blu-ray, but I got this on um, like a year later on Blu-ray. So let's talk about the movie. So it's about um, it's about these um three kids um, Judy, PJ, and Goose. And PJ and Goose, they um, they ride bikes to like be in the next. These BMX bikes, they're like the the experts, and um, so Judy, she, um, she meets she meets these two kids, these two boys named PJ and Goose. So pretty much, you know, Judy she ends up becoming friends with um PJ and Goose, and um, the, they went to um. Either PJ or Goose, they went to like a place, the harbor, and um, they they found um a, a box of like stolen walkie-talkies. But um, pretty much um, the beginning of the movie, these two these two bank robbers, these two guys like bank robbers, these, in the beginning of the movie they they robbed the bank, so um, but um. The the um, the box um so pretty much they went to um J Judy, P J and um Goose they went to um the harbor, and they found like a box of stolen walkie talkies. And those um box of walkie talkies was stolen by um the two bad guys the the bank robbers. And so the so Ju Judy, P J and Goose they used the walkie talkies like to. To communicate with one another, but it turns out when they use the walkie-talkies, like when they talk to one another, pretty much the the police station or like the the police officers they all they all have walkie-talkies, but they they able to hear the um jury's PJ you know, Goose conversation, but it but jury PJ and Goose don't know that. The, the police officers in the police station they create a conversation. So and um these the, the two bank robbers they they want they they want their walkie talkies back and they find out that um when the two bank robbers um the, when they found out that Jerry PJ and Goose had the walkie talkies they the the two bad guys is chasing after them. And that's pretty much the about stuff. So, so they, they get um like you know, like Jerry, PJ, and um Goose. They they go to um they try and um you know, run away from the two bad guys. Like they go different places throughout the movie. Like the whole movie, they being chased by um the two bad guys. So that's pretty much about. It. I really I really like this movie. I like the, the music. I like the characters, um, I like Jerry, I like PJ, I like Goose, and this, this kid, um, in this movie, I don't know his name, he always eats something, so, like, one part of the movie, he's, like, eating ice cream, so, I don't know, his, I don't know the name of, his name of the movie, it, the, the kid who played, um, the kid who was eating ice cream, I don't know the character's name in the movie, so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him the kid who is eating ice cream. I like him, like I said before, I like the music and stuff, so, yeah, and, um, yeah, this movie, on the Blu-ray, says, um, not rated, 
fun um fun on Blu-ray. Like we they have um like a movie preview of this. It says Ray J and then then the, I think the UK the UK gave this movie a PG so so yeah so this movie's probably a PG movie so yeah and this um the cover that's Nicole Kidman and that's um the the kid right there that's um that's Goose and that's PJ so I really like the artwork. And I like the back. It's a great it says the way's not rained. And it says special features. The special feature is pretty good. It says oil commentary with the director. BMX Spanish feature feature ads. The cast and crew that's like four minutes. And you got this thing, it's called Nicole Kidman on Young Town Time. Then you got the vehicle trail on the back. This, um, that's the blue it looks like, so yeah. Um, that's about it.